Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Starting off today with a spectacular view, of an eruption that occurred today. It looked to be a partial halo eruption, but the money shot was at the 11 o'clock position. Here is a view, a bit closer. At the end of this video, I'll show you an interesting close-up on the SDO-171 filter. The eruption, seen through the seeds filter, shows a partial halo effect. I'll loop this clip twice. On this LASCOC-3 filter, we can observe the flare, as it expands out through space. Now a top view of the C3 filter showing the flare a bit closer, as Venus is seen making its orbit past the Sun. Being that the CME model hasn't updated yet, the flare from the 11th is mapped as the Parker SP is getting a dose of radiation on the 13th. Five sunspot regions, can be seen on the Earth-facing side of the Sun, shown on this HMI intensity gram map. The coronal holes can be seen on this SDO211 filter. Look just here, and you can see the corona fluctuate as a flare erupts. The coronal holes will be Earth-facing tomorrow, which should give us an increase in solar wind impact on our geomagnetosphere. On this SDO-171 filter, we can see the surface activity all over the Sun. Pay attention to the area at the 11 o'clock position, this is where the prominent eruption took place, and you will see a mass ejection occur. That was a little quick, I'll slow it down for you. Here is a closer view, slowed down. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.